Y'all know what day it is? I believe it's uh, Friday, maybe? It's finally. Close finally anyway. Friday. I don't think nobody could tell the difference on video between the real and the fake on them. It's real hard in person. Um, so we actually got rid of our real one yesterday. Um, our last real one. We had a couple, but uh, so now it's more of a what are y'all talking about? And we show people, but they were so close that if you did not have a real one right there beside it, that's tough. Yeah. I was just going by how blurry the print was on the bottom. Yeah. And the fake one was better than the real one. Yep. As far as the print. So. Yeah. It, uh, they passed one around at one of our meetings. And, uh, Honestly, I told her I said I don't, I don't see enough to be able to just do it without, you know, having a real one. Which now that I've done the demonstration probably a hundred times, I can tell the difference pretty quick. But, yeah. um, I mean, it's we took the the fake one apart just to see the insides, and there is a lot more difference on the inside, uh, especially build quality and stuff. Which what mm -hmm. from what we're hearing the. Uh, the fake one's only lasting about three or so months anyway, so that part of it as well is, but it's enough to make you think twice about buying a real cheap uh, yeah. used battery now. I mean, heck, if the thing was $15, why not? But, you know, if you're paying anywhere <laughs> get close. Have a fire, you know. Yeah. If you're paying anywhere close, it's, it's, you might well pay attention, but that's all we're doing is educating, not trying to deter anything, just. Yep. educate and let people make their own choices on that all right because there will be and that's what i tell people all the time there there will be places that have deals uh on the real ones that it's just you can't beat it deal mm -hmm. take advantage of it don't don't let it go by so all right if it's a real one grab it up snatch her up well what new and cool stuff we got this week so we're going to talk about the new impact which all of uh, the followers that, that watch all your videos and stuff, they've probably done seen it, probably done heard about it. Um, but we're going to talk about it anyway. Um, it's, of course, we chose the blue to show. They do have orange. They do have the uh, purple. People have been asking about that. You do have the green. Um, they do not have the maroon. Maroon is going away. It is getting really? phased out. Gosh, so About time. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, uh, the high vis yellow, the sales on it went way down, so I think they're phasing the high vis yellow out as well. So uh, you're going to have your orange, your green, your blue, your purple, uh, and we'll see how everything goes with that. But let's take it out. Let's look at it. Now, a lot of people are already probably like, "Well, why are we doing air?" Well, we've said for a long time we think it's important to have both. Yep. Uh, I think that's definitely something me and you both agree on. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's great to have your battery powered, but it's also nice to have a good air one back up. Absolutely. So the one before this steps us up to the 1600. This one here steps us up to the 1700. It also, uh, not just the increase in the power it also has a new anvil on it so one of the biggest things that we were seeing on the other impacts was the anvil was what was breaking it wasn't anything on the inside 90 percent of the time it was the anvil now we did have uh, and this is going to happen with any impact i've seen it do it with snap on i've seen it do it with uh your ingersoll rands i've seen it do it with all of them if you do drop it a lot, it is eventually going to break right there. I mean, that's just, mm -hmm. you go from this much plastic down to here, that's just a leak point. Even your battery powers do that. Um, we haven't seen that very much, but I have seen it with impacts. So just throw that out there. That's one of the things I love about air. When you're working on something, you can let it down with a hose. You know? you, yeah, you, you can control the, the, the let down there, but the anvil on this one's supposed to last, I, I think it was, uh, was it five times longer that, that they were telling us? So, yeah. um, that, uh, that's a dramatic difference when you're talking about, when, when it doesn't break all the time, and then you make it five times stronger, that's, 
that's a big deal. So absolutely. Now, <clears throat> still, uh, I think uh, I think the hammers in it are the same, but it, there there is difference to be able to step it up to the seventeen hundred foot pounds. Now they are changing the warranty up on them as well. Um, that's a big thing that everybody's excited about. They are up in the warranty to what uh, three years, and then they're also um, we are changing the way when we send them in for repair you're going to get one back that's, that's already went through repaired and ready to go so you're not waiting near as long for parts or anything like that we all know right now it's hard to get some stuff some stuff you can get at the click of a button some sure. of it you have to wait so they are making it a streamlined repair process to where now it'll probably take a little while for that to fully you know be able to benefit from it because you got to get some in to repair them mm -hmm. to have that extra to go but also the var variable speed trigger but if you're in the market for an air impact take a look at it see what you think you never know so out of all the milwaukee stuff you guys are selling now what is the most popular milwaukee that y'all are selling uh well your half inch impacts probably your most popular one that's seems to be what everybody want is your and believe it or not they don't want the um i mean they'll use it but they would rather not have the stubby half inch yeah. they want to have the bigger half inch i had to if you're going to use it i want all yeah. it can do you know that's it so they want the the bigger half inch they're okay with the stubby three eighths um, but the most popular are definitely right now in our area is the impacts and it was, the half inch would be by far the first mm -hmm. then you go to your three eighths um now milwaukee's is changing some stuff up so that may change i think everybody's pretty excited about the pass-through ratchets that they're selling um if you hadn't seen those they're pretty awesome uh and then i'm hearing talk about i haven't researched it so don't hold me to it but about a torque wrench that they come out with it'll actually run it down mm -hmm. and then it stops and then you finish the torque so that's pretty cool i'm interested to see you know somebody may have been pulling my leg on that but if not that's yeah, a good I've idea i've heard rumors of that for a long time yeah so uh if that's true and they've come out with that that's that's a good design i, I like that idea because most most time on your newer techs especially they're going to run that thing down with electric impact and then they're going to take their torque wrench and they're going to put it on beep, there and it's going to be not going to turn okay it's good <laughs> yeah. you know you, yeah. you don't have uh and i won't say that we're not all guilty on that mm -hmm. on tires and stuff like that uh, even though you're not supposed to over torque lug nuts due to braking issues stretching of the studs and all that good stuff but i think we're all guilty on that it it's till it hammers a couple times and it's tight but i don't know like I said, I haven't researched that one a whole lot, but I think the pass-through ratchet will probably, at least for a little while, overtake the impacts. Because yeah. everybody's got, somebody in every shop's got an electric impact. It may not always be Milwaukee. You may see Mako in there. You may see Snap-on. They have an electric impact. Mm -hmm. So they, everybody don't have a pass-through ratchet yet. So they're right. probably gonna step up in popularity and that's probably what you're gonna see I think the electric ratchet was probably the best, which mine's the snap-on, you know, yeah. fourteen four. But when they come out with that long neck, yeah, um, man, I love it. And then I bought the quarter to go with it. And that was probably the best investment that I bought as far as battery tool, in my opinion. Well, and I think the only reason that's not more popular in my area is because everybody's already got them. Yeah, that's like the first thing you buy because if mm -hmm. whether you're doing timing covers, valve covers really anything you're gonna grab that electric ratchet because this mm. these are great these are break these are to break it loose and then we're gonna oof, come on out if our uh, electric ratchet ain't strong enough to just go sure. ahead and do it um, we all use hand tools but uh, I'm a little different I see a lot of people use the electric ratchets to run like spark plugs down I'm not a big fan of yeah, that. Yeah, I, mean, I ain't never done that. I uh, always use a regular one. That way you can feel the threads. That's and, it. Yeah. I'm going to, well, not only that, but I don't want the porcelain to crack on yeah. the spark plug. Because yeah. if you've ever did a 5.4 Triton, mm -hmm. break one of those in the back. 
crack one of those and have to go back and redo that. Oh yeah, pull it out with that spark plug puller. And well, I'm just, sucks. I mean, in general, they, they they suck to get to, and then even if you don't break it off and you just crack that porcelain, well, now you got to take it back out. It's you'd be mad at yourself, which we do see. I don't see it as much now that I'm not working in the shops, but I used to see a lot of the newer techs with electric ratchets. It's their kryptonite on yeah. everything. It don't matter if it's bow cover. They won't hand start the bolt. I don't get that. Just run it down. Run it down. And it's cross threaded all the way. Mm -hmm. I think my battery's getting low. No, I think you uh, cross threaded it. <laughs> you just Loctite that without Loctite. But good job. That's but, what everybody, when I did, when I got that Harbor Freight car, you know, I knew I'd never, ever, ever would I take those casters off of it, right? So I started it with my impact, and everybody's like, ah, oh, you probably cross threaded them. That's fine. Because I know I'll never need it's to take them off. It's got locked tight without being locked tight. Yeah. Uh, yeah um, I think that's the only reason they're not popular. You see surges in it. Like, people will get to where all of a sudden the hex impacts are a yeah. big deal. And then, you know, the, the drills. I had the soldering irons. I had like four on the truck, and they didn't move for two months. Everybody would just be like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And then one week, I sold them in a day, and it's like... Crap, mm -hmm. you know it wouldn't. It, they wouldn't move it enough to have a whole shelf of them. But then I sold four in a day, so it it varies. Um, it's been an impact for a while though. Well, I got another giveaway to do on my channel. Our buddies at Super Clean has decided they're gonna send some product out to one of our subscribers. It'll be a bottle of the spray and a bottle of the foam. So that's pretty cool. It's Super Clean. Um, you have to live in the lower 48 to to get it so that's their rules so they're giving it they're sponsoring it so hey that's on them um so to get in there just tell us something you want to clean with super clean besides your dirty mouth or your dirty mind it'll work <laughs> on anything else so tell us what you want to clean in the comments and then we'll have the drawing next week for that and you'll win some super clean so pretty cool for them to jump in here and throw some stuff into the giveaway pile for so that's another one for you guys so just make sure you do that like i say live in the lower 48 us and you'll be entered with a comment on what you want to claim i think i think everybody outside the lower 48 is probably used to that rule <laughs> because every everything says that oh like, the shipping is ridiculous man, man. I, I have talked to people and and their first thing is you know i i don't live you know in the states and it takes six months to get to us and it sets at customs for four of those months or whatever yep. and but well i did a giveaway a long time ago um with a snap-on ratchet i think it was like maybe my 500 sub giveaway or something and i shipped that thing to ireland and the ratchet and it was a hat so i had to put it in a big enough box the hat wouldn't get bent up you know anyway it was it almost cost me with the ratchet ended up costing time it was all said and done with to ship that thing so it kind of sucks but i mean it is what it is so well i want to ask everybody um if y'all watch the video y'all know new tools don't come out every week yeah so y'all throw in the comments something that y'all would like something maco of course that y'all would like to see us talk about well somebody has asked about five different times wanting to see the ratchet and wrenches ratchet and that wrenches. Matco's got. The ones that's got the offset, you know, I think y'all got them. Oh, let's see if I got any of that. You know, there's 50 different brands that's made like that. But. The, the long, okay, I'll see if I can't get some of those on the truck to show those. Um, you're talking about like the double yeah. box, yeah. yeah. If not, I'll, I'll get a customer to let me borrow one of the sizes that they don't use very often because some those are hard to get sometimes but right yeah we'll definitely do that'll be one of them but y'all throw it out there that way we can get some ideas i mean we've been doing the video now for over five years it may not feel like it's it, hard to, it's hard to been doing. Something. and what's crazy nobody believes that this is not scripted yeah, like, it's definitely not it's straight up ain't like michael pulls up to the shop he walks in we put his mic on him and we come out here and whatever happens happens and ain't no Nothing even discussed beforehand. So I mean, it, you, like five years ago, it was the word before I left the house. I had a tool ready to go. It's now when I pull up in the parking lot, I walk back here and I'm like, hmm, 
What's well, something good? There we go. That one. <laughs> so, yeah. That's it. So. Well, I see you got a gym laying back here. I can't believe it's still here. You got your Milwaukee, uh, Matco ratchet back here, a little quarter inch. Quarter inch ratchet, yep. I'm surprised that ain't gone by now. It would be. It would be. Um, I just want to leave it there. But. There you go. Well, I know I bought one of these kits from you when y'all first launched them, and I bought the orange one. I like that little kit, too. Those are good, That's strong good strong guns yeah uh, hopefully matco will come out with the impact boots for the new impacts uh i think i saw them i think they've got all the colors good because uh, you know we had this discussion last time when i, I talked think about they the released two them at lines. the same time <laughs> so. uh i let she's gonna type it in right quick just to verify but i'm pretty sure at the meeting they showed them side by side okay um yeah, so they do have it. It's already out and ready to go. Good deal. Um, so, they we may not fix everything on here the, on the <laughs> channel, but we try our best, right? But yeah, they do got the boots, so be sure and ask for those. Uh, well, I know we got the breast cancer flyer that's out, and I did the video on it. So I think we're gonna pick a couple things out of that to do some giveaways on. I get with unit, we'll make sure we can get them ordered in because that's a good thing. That's it. So. Yeah, we definitely want to highlight that breast cancer awareness. Um, so we'll we'll figure out something and we'll make it make it right anyway. There you go. All right, guys, y'all get in that super clean giveaway, and me and Michael's going to talk about what's coming for the next one with some of the pink stuff. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes are down here. If you're not subscribed, click that. But y'all have a great weekend. See ya.